Yeah, we're doing great. How are you? Hey. Awesome. I'm great. This is so exciting. You all look amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Some questions for you about My Spy, The Eternal City. First one being, in the movie, JJ loves his fish blueberry. And I want to know, what is your prized possession, all of you, that you love as much as blueberry? Oh, easy for me. It's my dogs. Yeah. I have four dogs. <clears throat> they are my life. I w I have I've had this doll forever. Like this it's called I call her Night Night. Well actually I have a god sister named Ava and we have these matching dolls, these blah blah dolls. And I actually brought it into a film I worked on called Pain Hustlers. And I had it be a part of my character. It was it was her it was her doll. I incorporated it into that movie. And I, I bring it with me everywhere when I travel, no matter how old I am. It just sits on my bed and yeah. I love it. And for me is 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 these dolls that I have with a <laughs> I bring those everywhere I go. Um, this is Dave when he was a uh, world champion. It was very important to me because, um, you know, in my eye, I feel like I'm a world champion in my mind at times, um, especially when I eat pasta. And this one is when he was in evolution. And I feel like I'm evolving as an artist. And, and I feel like, so when I watch Dave Batista in evolution, I feel like I'm evolving as an actor. And I'm really glad to share this with young Hollywood. Oh, I love that. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you very much. How long have you been carrying these around with you? Uh, yeah, I do it. It's just, uh, and it's a little embarrassing. He talks to them too. It's I talk. Dave, how am I doing so far? Okay, well, I'll do better. So, yeah, it's so important to me. So, thank you. <laughs> That's so amazing. <laughs> well, another thing I want to know this is for you, Ken. You guys probably have a lot of cool skills that you show off in this movie. But your dancing skills, you're known for them. And you get them, you slip them in at the end. I want to know a little bit about it. I, oh, everything is just, uh, I have no, I have no skill. I just literally just let it fly, let it rip. I have no, I have no agenda, but just to have a good time. So whatever I'm doing, it's all, it's all uh, impromptu. And if it works, Pete Siegel, the director, will just keep it in. If it doesn't, then, then, then I just talk to my friends about this. <laughs> yeah. See if I can find some more movement and evolve. It's so important. This keeps me going. Awesome. I, I, I love those dolls. <laughs> so then, Dave and Chloe, what was your favorite skill that you got to put to the test in this movie? I just... I, I mean, um, is my answer going to be really short? So it's uh, so I, uh, just motorcycle riding. I got to ride motorcycles this one. I Go. think I think the scuba diving part was very nerve wracking, but also fun. I remember that day, and it was kind of it was it was it was crazy. I, I'd never really done that before. I remember like sitting underwater with like the regulator in my mouth in this disgusting water. It was clean, but it was supposed to be murky and whatever. I'll, I'll make this shorter, but I had like no goggles. I just had it wasn't a regulator. Clean. We just kept telling her. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was breathing off a regulator and I was just like at peace, like sitting there and then they started tapping me like, okay, Chloe, it's time to shoot. I don't know, it was just fun. Don't worry, the water's well, clean. Yeah, it's clean. <laughs> they probably put us in actual Italian sewage water and we just had no idea. But that's fine, whatever, for the movie. It's method acting, I guess. Oh, wow. Well, thank you guys for answering these questions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you so you. much.